Picking up an egg with a robot is harder than it looks, says Oscar Morales, staff sergeant. How they do it is up to them. The 7th Civil Engineering Squadron Explosive Ordnance Disposal Unit hosting their annual bomb squad challenge, going through scenarios and skills they'd see in the field. The concept for each has happened in the past or is a possibility. And one of the first scenarios they're going to show us, they say a landlord passed by an empty house, or that house was supposed to be empty. On checking inside, he says he saw a person inside making suspicious materials. As soon as they saw those, a man with a gun burst out of the back door. Uh, the police neutralized him, uh, and since they had evidence of some kind of lab happening, they called a hazmat team and the bomb squad. Michael Scherhoff, tech sergeant, says the bomb squad then checks through the house for any more explosives. Showing a little firepower for targeting buildings or large crowds. And as soon as it sees light, it's meant to detonate over top of it. Because this just isn't a normal drone. So when you're seeing this, you're not saying this is a, a drone with an IED. This is the IED. In one of the last scenarios, they're acting out a hostage situation. The guy has a bomb on his chest. They don't know if it's timed or what could set it off. It was actually something that had happened in the past before. Uh, we were able to successfully do it this time. Today, all these scenarios were fake. But almost every scenario that we've made is as realistic as we can get it. So it either has happened, can happen, everything's as real as it can be. In Abilene, Kevin Clack, KRBC, Abilene's Local News.